Aloha everyone, uh, my name is Zach Hill and I'm joining this class remotely from beautiful Tacoma, Washington. Um, this is my next to last semester in the Learning Design and Technology Master's program here at USF. And I'm really excited to be taking this class with you guys because although I have been teaching English and foreign language for some time now, um, this is actually the first time I've ever taken a graduate level course on the subject. The bulk of my teaching experience has come from teaching at the Institute of Intensive English in the Waikiki district of Honolulu, Hawaii, which primarily serves adult professionals and students from around the world who can afford to travel to a tropical destination to improve their English. Um, in addition to that, I've also taught English as a foreign language in Colombia and Spanish as a foreign language here in the United States. One of the things that I'm most hoping to get out of this course is a better understanding of how English is taught to young speakers of other languages um, in the American public K-12 system and how the experiences of those students um, fits into the broader context of school, district, and national level decisions about education. While I'm an entirely online student who's never actually been to the Tampa Bay area, I'm sure that the local case studies we will be examining in this course will provide valuable insight and perspective um, that will be applicable in a variety of contexts and locales. Although I am a virtual student at USF, I feel like I have had a great experience as part of the USF community and have made some long-lasting friendships in my classes and have even seen some folks IRL and kept in touch with others virtually. I've really enjoyed all the courses that I've taken in my program, but one that really stuck with me was Dr. Fisk's Digital Media and Learning, which I took in my first semester. Um, I liked this course because it built on the work of classical critical thinkers like Paolo Freire, Ivan Ilyich, and Karl Marx, as well as contemporary critical technologists like Ruha Benjamin and Audrey Waters to help me develop a critical lens for viewing um, our current moment and the increasing role that technology is playing in education. It also provided a useful framework for how to engage youth in the constructive use of technology and how to prioritize dialogue in technology-mediated learning environments. I realized that because of the students that I'm used to teaching, um, I have developed kind of naturally a very responsive, uh, teaching style that focuses on dialogue and allows the interests and inquiries of the students to kind of guide the direction of the class. I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to apply these techniques to teaching younger English language learners who might come from less privileged backgrounds. My short-term goals are simply to keep working hard um, and graduate in the spring but my long-term goal is to get a job teaching English language learners in the Tacoma Public School District or perhaps at a local community college. I'm really looking forward to our final project where we will have to actually spend some time um, teaching in the ESL classroom because I think it'll be a good opportunity for me to not only get my feet wet in a new sort of educational context, but also to make some valuable um, connections locally. If you would like to know more about my family, hobbies, and interests, you can check out the video, The Story of Me, um, which I've also included in this post. Uh, this was a video that I made last semester for Dr. Hatton's digital video course, which was also a really great learning experience. Can't wait to meet you guys, and looking forward to having a great semester and learning a lot together. Aloha.